I hear it's turned out to be a beautiful afternoon across the region. It really has. It's not quite as hot as it was yesterday. Temperatures are in the mid 80s, but we're not dealing with all the humidity that we had yesterday. Right. So it's a lot more comfortable out there. And there's plenty of sunshine and blue skies. Check out the view from the Stonecrest Golf Course weather cam. Oh, that is gorgeous. Plenty of blue sky out there. Just a great afternoon ongoing across the mountains. And we have more days like this lined up for the next several days, friends. So if you don't get a chance to go out and hit the fairway today, well, maybe you can take advantage of it as we head into the weekend. Right now, pinpoint Doppler not showing much of anything. And that is a nice change of pace after having one of the wettest Julys on record here in Eastern Kentucky. Uh, but overall today, it is so dry and it is so, so nice. 84 Somerset, 86 London. Good afternoon, Barberville. You're also chicken in at 86, 86 Middlesboro, 84 Harlan, 85 here in the Hazard, 85 also for the friends up in the Big Sandy and Pikeville, 86 Prestonsburg and Paintsville, Inez. It's just a really, really nice afternoon. And what's causing the nice weather? Big area of high pressure just off to the west. A little bit of a northwesterly wind kicking out ahead of that high. That's what's bringing us the drier air and also the slightly cooler air. Now it's not cool. It's still pretty warm out there, but it's not the oppressive, sticky, hot and humid that we've been dealing with for the last few days. And you can see it's not just us seeing the improving weather conditions. Uh, most of the Ohio Valley going into the Tennessee River Valley uh, also seeing this nicer weather. And it's going to be with us for the next couple of days. A little bit of patchy fog to start off your day tomorrow and then highs again into the mid 80s. Not as humid out there and not quite as hot. You can see the real core of the heat now uh, shifted back to the south and the west. Dallas at 101 right now, 97 back over towards Jackson, Mississippi. But uh, notice that cooler air hazard, 82, 85. Detroit, New York's at 76 right now. That's an uh, unusual reading for a mid uh, summer's day, end of July, getting ready to roll into August. Here's a look at future view on the local level. And not a whole lot to talk about, and that's a nice change of pace. Now, some of our sheltered valleys tonight will dip into the upper 50s, so maybe uh, just a little bit cool if you uh, open up those uh, windows to cool the house down at night. We then take you into Friday, mid-80s. Uh, may struggle to reach 80. The uh, computer model is showing a little bit of cooler air trying to stick around in the higher elevations along the Virginia border tomorrow. And then as we go on into Saturday, another gorgeous day heading our way. The nice weather continues into Sunday. We'll dial the humidity up a little bit for the weekend, but it really doesn't come back in force until Monday and Tuesday. That's when we'll see a few isolated afternoon storms, 20% chances both days, and then some more widespread rain as another cold front rolls in for the middle of next week. All right, looking good for this weekend for sure. Thank you.